Mine's game's oh. morning. Well, you need, my needle has been so badly ju- nudged, I fell off my stool. <laughs> I didn't know anything much about Keir Starmer. Uh, to me, he was just one of those faces in Parliament, and yeah. I hadn't been taking an awful lot of attention. And then I heard him on full disclosure, oh, and yeah. I thought... Well, in fact, I heard him, and then I had to drive all the way home and got my wife to listen as well, okay. because I suddenly realised I, I was listening to somebody I wanted in charge. I wanted somebody who actually would... Take, I wanted him in charge of this country, and it didn't matter to me what his politics are, what party he belonged to. I heard the man, and I thought, that is incredible. And then, and then you did it again with Angela Rayner, and I thought, oh, the dream team. That girl, she would so understand the poorest of the poor in this country. None of these multimillionaires, none of these Etonians. We... But I'm looking at real people for the first time in years, and I'll tell you something, as a result of that podcast program that you yeah. do i've changed my politics i will vote labor this time for the first time in my life Blimey. and i'm 62 yeah and you're voting for people here you're not voting for a party you're voting for people who have impressed you which i think yes i think people like you decide elections i don't think people like me decide elections and i don't think that you respond as you've just explained to uh, you know necessary to carefully costed budget statements it's almost instinctive sometimes isn't it it's about trust and and it is these yeah. two seem trustworthy and, and and they cover both of those bases if you want to come at it from a sort of class angle well because at the time of the podcast right they weren't in charge no but i could hear real life empathy yeah i mean i mean okay starmer <laughs> i mean you've got to vote you've got to love someone whose parents go to buckingham palace with two dogs in the car for the <laughs> you know for, for the night of. now i know I mean, you've listened to it now i know you're not blowing <laughs> smoke up my fundament I'm not blowing smoke it, it, anywhere, it, mate. It, that it, is a very important podcast and if anybody that's listening to this does not listen i suggest you get into it oh, you can uh, come Mick lynch was interesting Mick lynch was interesting and you'll enjoy andy burnham on friday as well actually I, I, this is lovely i got to just feel a bit embarrassed about plugging some of my other work on the radio program i'm gonna leave it to phil in future i got have you read any of the books i'm joking i'm joking, I'm joking. have you got the board i'm joking i'm joking